Syria and Libya. What are the future in your in your experience and your opinion? What is the future of both of these kind of troubled countries? Well, Syria is run by uh, a family enterprise. It's a minority that runs by uh, brutal authoritarianism. Some of the uh, most unpleasant of the people in that uh, inner circle have been taken out uh, by enemies of uh, Syria, uh, the blown up in bombs and things, uh, some assassination attempts. And the worry I have most about Syria uh, right now with Assad is, is the president has signaled that we want regime change, but he hasn't said how or who's going to be the new regime, run the new regime. And it's a bad idea to start talking about regime change in front of somebody you're planning to move until you have that all figured out. It causes some resentment and uncertainty, and we are uh, certainly paying a little price for that. And one of the biggest dangers right now, Syria, as you recall, Syria is a client state of uh, the mullahs of Iran. The Ayatollah runs the Hezbollah, the world's biggest terrorist group, out of Iran, through Syria into uh, the, the Mideast agitation. Uh, what is difficult now is that Hezbollah, which of course is Shia, has joined up with Hamas, which of course is Sunni. So here you've got radicals from the two wings of uh, Islam that don't talk to each other joining forces in the Mideast area. Now what could possibly go wrong in the Mideast where they would have something to do? This is the first time we've really seen something like this uh, where we, we have a working cooperation between the extreme radical groups uh, that is extraordinarily dangerous and as you can see the result. Lebanon is a, a country that's run uh, as a triumvirate, uh, shared power, uh, they haven't really worked out much of anything. The last most successful person there, I guess, was um, Rafiq, who got uh, taken out. And um, I, I don't think they've been able really to put it back. I don't see any anything particularly helpful going on there. If the French would lead a little more, they have a lot of interest in the country. We might see some some um, some progress, but. Uh, I'm worried about increasing destability, increasing destability in, in Lebanon. I certainly don't see a peace coming in Syria, and uh, it's a bad, bad neighborhood. But how long do you think Assad? How long do you think Assad survives? And does it just become uh, an ISIS-run state? Does it become an extremist? No, I, what, 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 what happens? I, I don't think ISIS is going to beat Assad. I think that the way the country is situated now and in the geographic areas where the people are and how people are working, and you've got to remember that Assad has a conventional army. He has conventional forces to support him, to be authoritarian, plus he has his own intelligence services which are brutal and effective. And um, the, the ISIL people don't want to necessarily fight that kind of war. They don't want conventional warfare. They want to do the stuff they do and move around and intimidate people, terrorize people, use their influence and their power and make their money and build their, their ideology and their caliphate. So it's a somewhat different goal. Uh, I think they're going to have a very hard time dislodging Assad. I would say that uh, Assad would probably be uh, a victim of decapitation uh, uh, rather than uh, a decisive military victory in the, in the old sense. I, I wouldn't say it would be the Alawites, I, I, I would doubt that. Uh, I, I would think that some of the neighboring countries uh, might have an interest uh, in, in how far he goes and how he plays his hand. You know, we, we haven't talked about Turkey. Uh, you cannot really talk about this subject without talking about Erdogan and Turkey and the whole history of the uh, the Kurds and, and their problems uh, with the Turks and how that's playing out as we're now seeing in, in Kohani. The issue of what Erdogan is going to do, he's trying to put Ataturk back in the bottle. Uh, they're trying to take, Erdogan is trying to take that country into a less secular, less secular more Islamic uh, conservative uh, culture. And uh, it's not going to go easy because the people aren't necessarily there. He, but he's destabilized a lot of the military. He's lost, uh, um, in my view, uh, much of the opposition uh, and counted. And as you recall, his recent uh, corruption trials and so forth, he's really stood on the justice system. 
So the Justice and Development uh, Party has got a little more development than justice these days, and I think you're going to see Erdogan continue to emerge as a critical player. What I can tell you is what he's going to do. But think, Turkey is a NATO ally, and they won't let us use their base. Their base. 